As you can see, my project is now almost complete. Now I will tell you about what I've done and why. This episode will be a bit different. Instead of showing you a repair or a maintenance procedure, I will give you some background into the project and why I decided to do it. The engine actually works fine. As far as the performance goes, there is no sign of problems. So why should I overhaul? Well, one day I noticed oil in the keel on one of my inspections. And as I tried to determine where it came from, I discovered several minor oil sweats from several places. Nothing major, but enough to make me worry. And more severe, I discovered minor seawater leaks from the seawater pump and the exhaust knee. Now the question was what to do. A major overhaul or a minor repair? The first thing I did was to get a professional mechanic to perform a compression test. The idea was that if the engine fails this test, I would have to do a major overhaul. And I would probably get a certified Volvo workshop to do this for me. This is very expensive, but you will end up with a near to new engine with a limited warranty. Luckily the compression was good, so I decided on doing something between a complete overhaul and a minor repair. And this is the project I will share with you. Right now, as I record this, the overhaul is almost complete. If I get the time to edit, there will be episodes coming throughout the spring and the summer. So what have I learned about the engine so far? First of all, take good care of the cooling system. Most of the issues I have found can be traced back to some sort of leakage from the cooling system. It seems that in one point or another there's been a leak. This has been fixed, but the water and especially the seawater has started to corrode some other part. And if I hadn't done this overhaul now, it is more than likely that it would cause serious problems very soon. So check the cooling system often and thoroughly. Follow the maintenance intervals and clean the different heat exchangers and coolers and change the two engine sinks every season. Secondly, use original Volvo parts. I have found that the old owner has used a lot of aftermarket O-rings and gaskets. This is cheaper to buy, but the quality is simply not good enough for use in a marine engine. So spend a bit more and be safer at sea. Lastly, I would like to thank everyone who has watched the first episode and everyone who had commented. I really appreciate this and it encourages me to continue. That's all for this episode and make sure to watch the third episode which is about the oil cooler.